Hi guys, today we're gonna listen uh, Pink Floyd, The Great Geek in the Sky and um, I think first we will begin and then blah 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 but anyway, this is the very unique version which I never heard and it means something to me, something big, and I'm like glad that I found out that it even exists. Like how me, fan of Pink Floyd, didn't hear, didn't see this particular version because this is performance with Claire Tori, and Claire Tori is <clears throat> vocalist who basically did her job a session musician just came to studio and uh, sang improvisation for like few hours without any direction without any like um, clear uh, requirements she definitely marked her <sighs> step <laughs> The vocal line is different, that she just make a new improvisation here, but at the same time she, unfortunately, it's like many, many years later, um, she in um, not the best shape, uh, I mean voice, her voice, but the most important thing here, that she is there like creator of this amazing improvisation which every single vocalist later touring with Pink Floyd has like requirement you supposed to sing the same and like if you can sing better but this vocal line but she now do it like absolutely different and this is what's inspired me that they like allows her like 
for her green light for another guy who just gonna repeat what she invented no 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 i'm sorry but you're supposed to do what claire's does i mean in the story behind with all this process of making that song, how she just came to the studio, how she just sang and nobody even said good or bad. They just, okay, bye. And later on, she find out that they actually like it. And we have a lot of, um, how would say, amazing vocalists right but i personally much more appreciate not people who has a uh, great skills like has this con great control of their uh, muscle but they could create this is much more important in art not just able to perform of course uh, everything matters like you need to have a full package if you like became a star it's not enough to be um, a talented beast or very gorgeous lady who has like no voice it has supposed to be everything, talent, charisma, and a voice, real wide range, and um, unique, something unique, something what not average. Oh my God, let's... there was like mu another music uh, instrument <laughs> i i heard in one interview she said basically that she imagined that he, she is another instrument she not like singing something she just feeling it and the interesting thing what i feel now that I'm pretty, I'm pretty much all the time compares uh, another um, vocalist who performed that song with her original uh, 
performance from our basically um, CDs and tapes, stuff like that, I mean. <laughs> and in that case, I not actually compare her with her in the past, like at all. I just, I mean, I understand that it's different. I understand that it's um, maybe not so powerful if we just uh, delete or like close eyes on all history but it still makes me feel that how touchingly is that i wanna just hug david gilmore and richard right and it's so nice that they gave her this opportunity to perform and they later shared with her and it's level, level, Pink Floyd's level and I honestly, I heard a lot of music, different amazing bands, but Personally, I can't put anything close to Pink Floyd. In my heart, I have this space where only Pink Floyd, it's timeless, it's timeless. Ta -da -da! Oh my God, oh my God. Guys, thank you for your patience and that you really shared with me that time i really i'm glad that i can have this opportunity with uh, just youtube just youtube huh with youtube feel that i'm not alone and maybe you um like with me feel that you're not alone and you because you have maybe the same opinion or oh, just 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 something Bye.